Hey homeschool friends, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to today's video where I will be talking about a science curriculum that I am so excited about. I have been anticipating using this curriculum for so long and I won't be able to even use it for a number of years yet because it's a middle school, high school curriculum and it is called Novari. So here is the book. It is put out through Classical Academic Press it is unique in the science curriculum world. So it is Christian. It is very much Christian. The lessons are very interwoven with like God and God's design, but it does not have a young earth perspective, which makes it very unique within the science curriculum in the homeschool world. It has an old earth perspective, which is the direction I tend to lean. I've talked about this a lot on my channel. And so having a curriculum that has that perspective is so very exciting to me. I'm so excited to get to this curriculum. And I really wanted to make this video because I could not find any other videos on the homeschool YouTube space that talk about Novari. So I wanted to put out this video as like a flip through to talk through the different resources, to talk through how the curriculum is really organized, what's its philosophy, but I have not used it. So know that ahead of time. I borrowed all of this from my sister. I will show you the book inside the book. I will show you the kits she picked up. Yes, that's plural on kits. It is a very involved science curriculum, but there's so many cool things about it. So let me wrap up this intro and we'll get into chatting all about the Novari science curriculum. So hi, my name is Angie. Welcome to the channel if you're new here or welcome back if you've been coming for a while. Like I said, we're gonna be talking all things Novari science curriculum today and I am so excited about it. So a little bit about the philosophy of this program. I've already mentioned that it's middle school, high school. It typically starts in seventh grade, although they just came out with a sixth grade book. So it starts in middle school. And some of the things I would say that it really cares about, or really it's philosophy, I guess, the curriculum's philosophy is first wonder. I love that because that's how I feel about science, especially when you try to teach science through a biblical lens, is wonder, wonder at God's creation. So it definitely does that. It also teaches through integration. So it really focuses on drawing in lots of disciplines and trying to connect them all because science is very connected. And when we study it in boxes, we don't see the beauty of how it all kind of goes together. So integration, mastery. So this is kind of a unique aspect of this curriculum is it's mastery focused. I will show you more of the resources to show you how the curriculum goes about teaching in a mastery type fashion, but it very much does. It has a lot of review. It has a lot of cumulative ways of teaching the curriculum. It focuses on more like verbal mastery. So instead of like multiple choice questions, it has a lot of short answer type questions on quizzes and tests and things like that. So I'll show you all of that. But the mastery aspect to this program is really exciting to me, especially as a previous college professor. I would have loved if my students would have come in with this kind of grasp on science. And then the fourth thing that they really focus on, like I already mentioned, is a kingdom perspective. So it very much interweaves God and God's design. And it does handle some of those more controversial science, religion sort of topics in its books, but also in some YouTube videos or blogs or things that I can link below. And at the end of the video, I'll talk about some extra resources to go dig into this curriculum further, but it is very much a core tenant to the Novari curriculum. Okay, so my plan for this video is to go through a number of things. One, resources because that was the thing I was most interested in and that was the thing I could not find. So resources, what's included, things like that, as well as kind of course sequence. And then I'll end with kind of why I'm so excited about this program, how I think I'm going to be planning on using this in the future, as well as some extra resources in case you are curious about this really unique science program. So first resources, I am going to show you through this book. So this program is the Novari Physical Science Program, and this is geared towards seventh grade. Like I said, they just put out a sixth grade program. It has to do with biology, and I will talk about the sequence in just a second. But 
All the stuff I'm going to be sharing with you comes from this seventh grade program. So the book is here. It is says right here, a mastery oriented curriculum. So one thing to first notice about this textbook is it's quite small and it definitely is not the size of a normal textbook. It is much, much smaller and much thinner. And the reason is, is because their desire was to pull out a lot of the fluff, to pull out the idea that we have to cram all this stuff in and just do what is necessary and then teach it in a very mastery sort of way. So the students are constantly going back over things that they have already learned. The second important thing for this program is what's called the digital resources. You can kind of buy them as a bundle, you can buy them separately, but this is 100% necessary for you to teach this program because it includes things like weekly quizzes, the fall and spring exams, kind of like final exams, as well as all the answers to those quizzes and exams. It also includes these things called weekly review guides. All right, these things are amazing and I'll get Back to that in just a second, because I'm really impressed with that idea. And then finally, there's the experiment manual, which again is very necessary. So let me go through these items a little bit just to give you the feel for the program. And I just realized I'm going to flip the camera around because it'll be much simpler to do a top down to show you a lot of these resources. Then I'll flip it back around to talk about the rest of it. So I showed you the textbook already, but let me take you inside it just a bit to show you how it is set up. Like I said, it is very small and it does not have a ton of graphics. It's meant to be read by the students and to utilize a lot of the learning checks and different things like that. Okay, so I just flipped to a random chapter. Here's chapter three about conservation of energy. It talks through objectives and vocabulary and it is written to the students to make note cards out of the vocabulary and to pay attention to the objective. So the program does include some scheduling information, but mostly I feel like you need to kind of make it work for yourself as to how fast you have your student read through this textbook and then answer the learning check questions. And additionally, in the digital resource packet that you pick up, they do have answers to these learning checks, like here's learning check 1.1. And because the students will be going through this and answering the questions, so it gives you some answers. So that's really nice as the homeschool teacher to have those associated. So anyway, to continue through this chapter three, this is what they would be reading, doing the checks as they go. And I will show you in just a second the weekly review guides that you can give to your kiddos as they are working through this. So that is the end of chapter three. And then you can see chapter three has its experiment. And this is experiment investigation number two. So I feel like not all chapters have an experiment, but I think most of them do. And so then this gets in to how this is done. So I'll come back to that in just a second but let me show you the weekly review guide. So this is number 24. I just printed off one that was later in the year for the reason that I wanted to see how they brought back the information to make it more of a mastery. It's kind of a spiraling mastery in my opinion. So it says here, this is written to the student. Your assignment this week includes the following review tasks. Review your most recent quizzes, da, 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 da. take out the quizzes, look at the questions, practice writing the answers back out, Go through chapter four, five, and six, their objective list, and make sure you're ready to address any items listed, and then go through your vocab flashcards. And then that week also has some review computations. I like this. This keeps them working on all these different questions. So these questions aren't necessarily from this chapter. It is more from previous chapters to keep them remembering how to write these. And then you also have the answers, sorry then you have the answers. Actually, the students have the answers, which I think is just fine, and that will help them know if they got it right, right away or not. So those are kind of their weekly review guides. The reason they have these are because of how the program is set up with these weekly quizzes. So this is for quiz number one, after week number one, and you can see here it's not multiple choice. Like I was saying, it is more of a short answer. Like they have to be able to explain themselves. And it says here, questions on this quiz may be answered with two to four sentences. Write all responses in complete sentences using correct spelling and grammar. And so like, here's a question from the quiz. Describe an example illustrating how intelligence is evident in nature. And it's worth 20 points. So that's a great question. And then, like I said, you have access through your digital resources to the answers in the answer key. So that sets them up really well. And then there's these 
term exams. So a fall one and a spring one. And these ones are just two pages. So you can see you're quizzing them weekly in order to prepare them for kind of these bigger final exams. And then of course you also have your answer key. So that is how kind of the week is set up. And again, you have to figure out with your student how you're gonna do this as to how much you're gonna read because I feel like if you are homeschooling just one child, you're gonna have to be the person that they kind of work with unless you have a very gifted child who can kind of run with stuff. And then let me take you back to this experiment page. And so this is the two page spread that explains the experiment. Okay, when I first saw this, I was like, this is not enough. And that's true. So it comes with an experiment resource manual, which I printed off just a few pages of it. The introduction is amazing. It really teaches why some of these experiments are so complicated, especially in the physical science program, because physical science needs a lot of math. They have to calculate things. They have to record numbers, make graphs, do things like that. And so it really does need a better experiment, an experiment that's actually an experiment, not just a demonstration, because they are getting into middle school and then high school. It is better for them to actually do the experiment than to watch an illustration of it. And so here's an example of some extra resources for an experiment. So this actually is the first one where it has to do with some Hot Wheel cars and there's a whole track and a lot of different things that need to be made. And I will come back to that in just a second. But you can see this has to do with a lot of the setup for doing this experiment. And this gives an example of how the students will graph their findings. And then the idea is I believe that they write up kind of more of a middle school lab report. So this is their first foray into lab reports, which is really good. It's good for them. And so <laughs> I'm sure you saw how complicated that looks like. Am I going to have to build all this? Well, you can. You can, and it, it has all the instructions for doing that. And if you enjoy that, or if you think your child would enjoy that, by all means, that would be a really cool thing to bring into the science program as well. I mean, it would take a lot of preparation and planning, but you don't necessarily have to. And I'm going to show you all kind of the lab kits that you can pick up to help you facilitate this program. Okay, so I did say kits because there are two. There's one from the Home Science Tools, which includes a lot of things such as, like I just showed you, the Hot Wheels tracks, but it also includes like beakers, you know, wires and clamps and different resources such as that, as well as some chemicals, some caustic chemicals. So you definitely need to pay attention to how you are handling some of these things. It gives you like a lab coat and gloves. It gives you a hot plate and a scale. And so all of these things are necessary for you to be able to do science experiments, true science experiments in your home. So yes, it is costly. For sure it's costly, but the idea is that you are really setting up your student to really feel out what science is like actually doing experiments. So they send you all of that stuff. I moved all that to the side because there's another kit which has to do with all the wooden supports and kind of special parts. And so there is another kit. I don't think it's through Home Science Tools. Maybe it is, but I also saw it on Classical Academic Press and they sell basically all the stands and different parts that you would need to set up all of those structures are special parts. So this kind of represents the wood pieces that it instructs you to build if you wanted to build it by hand, or you could pick up this kit. I will link both of these kits down below if you're curious about them, but it, you need them. You either need to build it or you need to have these kits available to do the experiments. So I know that was a little overwhelming, but I do think I was able to show you kind of all the moving pieces whether it be the textbook, the quizzes, the experiments. Let me flip you back around and I will chat through a little bit about the sequence and things I'm excited about for the program. All right, so those are the resources. Oh my gosh, there's so much stuff, guys. As a scientist, I just get very excited about all of those resources. But there's a few more things that I want to talk through with you all about the Novari program. First being the course sequence. So I will pop up a little graphic that they have here, which goes through the middle school, high school kind of pathways. 
the middle school is pretty consistent. Everybody does those same programs, but then it splits off in high school as to more of an accelerated pathway and more of an on grade level pathway. And you can see how it does that. And it really has a lot to do with your student's ability to do math. So if you have an advanced math student, you might be able to go the accelerated route because it assumes more mastery with math concepts. So these are the textbooks and the programs that are available through Novari. The other thing you'll see when you look at this graphic is something unique about the sequence of which they teach the science programs in high school, especially. And it is a physics first approach, which I know for me, at least I had physics in senior year. I feel like for me, at least it was like a biology, chemistry, physics, pathway, but that is not how Novari works. They want to teach physics first because there's so much within the physics discipline that then can be applied to biology, like all your reactions and things like that, and then apply to chemistry. So that is unique. And I think it's really smart and we don't need to be intimidated by physics. There's really some cool things going on in that discipline. So that is a unique thing about Novari. And so let me talk a little bit about why I'm so dang excited about this program. One, it's the old earth perspective. It just is. There really isn't anything else out there that has the old earth perspective. So I'm really excited about that. I'm also excited about the mastery philosophy in teaching, about the idea that these concepts will be taught so much that it will become second nature to do like unit conversions and all of these things that are just a part of basic science that when it becomes second nature there's so much more success for opening up kids to diving really deep into science so i really love this idea i also just really like the sequence i love the possibilities i love the fact that you can kind of teach it to your unique child if they're gifted in math you can kind of take off with them if they're average on level with math, you can go a different direction and it's still an amazing education. So I want to touch a little bit about how I plan on using this because like you saw from that sequence is it starts in middle school and I'm hoping to do that. The hard thing is this means I have to split up my kids because right now I'm currently keeping them together because my oldest two are 16 months apart. But in order to really use Novari, you really have to be on grade level for math. So I'm thinking this means I will want to split my big kids up. And so the question for me and thing I have to think about is do I want to do that in sixth grade or do I want to do that in ninth grade? Because I think either way is fine. I don't think you need to use the middle school programs to utilize the high school programs. I think that would be great. You will really train them up on this mastery type approach to science by the time they get to high school. So I think it would benefit them, but I don't think it's necessary. So for me, it's a decision on kind of the age of my kids. Am I able to pull my oldest off and teach him independently with kind of a teacher intensive science program? Or do I want to keep them together until say my youngest are a little bit older and pull my oldest off in high school? I hope that makes sense. So those are the things I'm thinking personally about my kids. And so take that with a grain of salt, however your family is set up. Some things I am a little concerned about, to be honest, is it's a lot. And you saw how in depth some of those experiments were, even the mastery approach, it takes a lot from a kid. So I think some kids will benefit a lot more than others, but I do think all kids can get something out of the program. I just think some might love it more than others. And so I'm a little concerned as to how much time it's gonna take for me. But at the same time, this is my child's education and a lot of my kids are interested in science. I am a scientist, my husband's an engineer. I just feel like there's a high chance that my kids are going to want to go into those fields as well. And so Novari would set them up so well, so well to do that. So those are the things I'm most excited about when it comes to this curriculum that I've been anticipating using for so long. All right, so if say this program is really interesting to you, but it's a little overwhelming, I will plan on linking a number of resources down below. I'll link some of those YouTube videos where the author of this book, John Mays, talks through the whole process, talks through kind of his heart for it. So I will link that. I will link his book, Teaching Science so that students learn science. So that sounds like an awesome resource. The last thing I would recommend is there's a Facebook group. And I think what's unique 
about that is it is homeschoolers that are talking about how to navigate this program. Because this program is geared both towards the classroom as well as homeschoolers, it just has some unique challenges because honestly, I think it is geared more towards classrooms than homeschoolers. Like some of the work would be done better in groups, but he mentions that in a number of his resources and gives you tips for how to homeschool with this program. I think the Facebook mom group would be even more useful because you can kind of pull the collective mom brain, if you will, to see how everybody else is handling the unique circumstances of this program in a homeschool setting. So I will link all those resources down below. And please ask me any questions. If you have any questions, I can try to answer them again. No, I haven't used this program. I intend to, and I'm very excited about it, but I haven't used it. And so I will try to answer your questions. But otherwise, that is what I have for this video. I hope it was helpful. If it was, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel if you want to. And otherwise, guys, I will see you in the next homeschool video. All right, take care.